Hey everybody, how are you? Happy Friday. Once again, it's the weekend. It's Friday, yay, Friday, yay. Um, it's the 14th, so it's 11 days until I leave. I know it might seem a little not far away because it will go by really fast. Um, but I have so, so much to do. I've been feeling overwhelmed. I've just been feeling pretty stressed out, not sleeping real well, eating fine, but not sleeping real well. Um, just having a, some anxiety about things, a couple things, or one thing that I have to do, a medical thing before I leave, which is on Monday morning that I have to do it. I'm leaving Tuesday, a week from next Tuesday, the 25th. And I'm really excited because this is a new opportunity we're going um, to sell it. We're going to Oregon first. Actually, uh, since there is no direct flight from Albuquerque to Boise, we are actually going to stop in Vegas to change planes. So I'm kind of going to Vegas again. This time I'll just see the airport. Um, I don't know if any, but if any of you have ever been to the Vegas airport, I don't know if maybe there's an In-N-Out burger or something there. I don't know. Well, that would be cool anyway. Um, but I've never been to the Vegas airport because we drove when we went so uh, last year. Uh, <laughs> that'll be a new experience. Uh, so then I don't think they're real long flights. I know Vegas isn't a real long flight from here, maybe a little over an hour. And uh, I think from Vegas to Boise, maybe it's an hour and a half or something. So not too bad for me anyway. I'm an experienced flyer. I've been to the top of the eye roller in Vegas, the Sears Tower in Chicago, and I've done zip lining in Idaho. So I'm really not afraid of heights, but it's not really that. It's just I had a bad experience when I was younger uh, with a bad thunderstorm and kind of a severe turbulence, very severe turbulence. So I've, since then, I've never like been a big fan of it with you know if it's bad weather or something other than that also i had to spend the night once in the dallas airport the last time i flew which was four years ago um and oh and uh two two hours going out we were stuck on the air or the runway at the dallas airport for two hours due to weather and then coming back the same thing we were on the air or we were on the runway two hours <laughs> waiting to take off because of summer storms. Uh, and then we missed, because of this weather delay, we missed our connecting flight in Dallas um, to come back to Albuquerque. And we had to spend the night at the airport. I had never spent the night. We had been put up in a hotel. One time we had an issue in coming back from Hawaii, but we were put up in a hotel then. Uh, but this time, uh, since it wasn't the airline's fault, we uh, we got stuck at the airport overnight, um, and I didn't sleep at all. <laughs> My parents were able to get a little bit of rest sitting up. I cannot sleep sitting up in the chairs at the airport. Um, it just wasn't, you know, the, the seats at the gate, but I just couldn't do that. So... <laughs> It was, I've had some rough experiences flying. That's kind of why I'd rather either drive or take the train. Or, I mean, not drive myself, but, you know, ride in the car. Uh, but anyway, it's my parents uh, with their age and everything. They don't like driving super long distances. So, yeah, and I don't know. I think it would probably be, they said probably at least three days. Because they, they don't drive full days. They always like to stop and spend the night somewhere or something. So it'd probably be at least three, three, part part of three days or something to get from here to Boise. And in Boise, well, first we're rent, renting our car on the 25th, driving to Baker City, Oregon. We'll spend Wednesday, I think, and Thursday, I think, in um Oregon, driving around that area, we're probably going to do the Columbia River Gorge and um, also, uh, I think, part of the Oregon Trail or something. My parent or my mom and, well, both my parents, I think, wanted to do that. I just want to see the small towns and I think my mom has never been to Oregon. I have never been to Oregon. That would be my 44th state uh, that I have visited. Um, yeah, <laughs> my 44th state. Uh, to cross off my list. So that's cool. 
And Oregon, I hear, is so pretty. I've seen so many videos on it and just the greenery and all that. I'm really excited about it. Uh, then we'll spend... Well, I'll see the family on Friday. I mean, I'll see the family all weekend, but Friday is my niece's birthday, Friday the 28th. And we're going to celebrate. I think she wants to... My mom says she wants to go bowling for her birthday. She's turning 11. And that's cool. Yesterday was my nephew's seventh birthday. <laughs> so I, you know, sent a text to my brother wishing him a happy birthday. Um, so the 28th is her 11th birthday and she wants to go bowling. So that's cool. But Friday, is it Friday night or maybe Saturday night and Sunday night. So we're coming back on Monday the 31st, flying back. Uh, uh, Saturday, or no, wait, maybe Maybe all three nights. I don't know. Because they don't have an extra room in their house for me to s sleep in. So my brother is putting me up in a, in a hotel. It's, I think it's a Homewood Suites. I don't believe I've ever stayed in one of those. They have a pool and, um, I, you know, some other amenities. It's near parks and uh, restaurants. And uh, there's some other activities you can do in the parks. And I think some other just other activities like indoor maybe that you can do close by maybe within walking distance I don't know it's in a uh, like a suburb called Eagle Idaho which is west of Boise <laughs> so anyway I'm going to be working 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 for the next week and a half um, to get ready I've you know googled you know because flying is different because I have to, you know, I had to, um, like, Google, like, what, you know, I I didn't know, like, what, lick, like, what ounces of liquid you can bring on an airplane and all that, like, how many ounces of liquid for toiletries and things like that. I didn't know that, um, so I'm, you know, <laughs> I had to do that. I had to get some, like, a, like those travel size uh, deodorant uh lotion and all that um so i had to buy that this past week and um, just just getting your house ready to leave on a trip i mean it's not like when we went to on our Boise trip two years ago the house i came back we had, we were gone two and a half weeks as we drove and my house was so musty <laughs> when we got back <laughs> when i got back well when I got back, my house was very musty, and then I had to have, yeah, so it was just like, uh, I don't want to come home to a musty home. Casey will be going to the boarding place, I don't know what day, probably uh, Monday, Sunday or Monday night, um, so yeah, everything's uh, in place. I have to do some salon services next week, just... You know, in the summer, I like to kind of be fresh and everything because I'm wearing shorts and short sleeves, tank tabs, and a bathing suit sometimes if I go swimming because it gets pretty hot up there in, like, the like Boise in that area up there um, in the summer. So I'm probably going to want to go swimming. And since I have a, there's going to be a pool, um, you know, I just want to look all fresh and clean and all uh, just all nice for a trip um so that's why i'm doing all this stuff it's especially with flying it's just i just want to feel nice and comfortable <laughs> so anyway um i'm going to be doing laundry this evening laundry 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 all weekend well I'm, i might do some salon stuff uh this weekend because i really don't want to put everything off until next week um so i talked to my mom briefly today texted her and told her you know i might have to get an advance in my funds because i need to do a few things maybe this weekend i have one appointment like next wednesday and then possibly i don't know if i've talked about this before but possibly i'm um having one of the maintenance guys uh who's a friend of mine uh help me put a canopy up in my room over my bed and um i mean he'll he'll i'll pay in increments or whatever um he said he could help me next tuesday i don't know i don't know what my mom would think of me like trying to squeeze that in before we leave but you know 
we'll see. He he knows. I told him today I saw him and outside, and I told him I was leaving on the 25th, and he said, oh, well, maybe we can do some stuff next Tuesday. So he knows, and he's a real nice guy, and really nice guy. He's helped me out here at my apartment a lot with things, so... Um, yeah, so I'll be doing laundry, laundry, well, yeah, laundry tonight, tomorrow, Sunday, um, and I gotta find some things that I wanna have when I get back or even before I leave, like, like the remote to my TV, there's just so much junk that needs to be sorted, organized, that's, that's my main task is getting a lot of stuff organized in my room, it's been really, like, kind of in a disarray and all these storage bins for a long time and it's just frustrating when I can't find things I need and um, and I have to go through it take everything out put it on my bed and then you know put it back in it's just crazy but anyway so there's that there's just a lot of stuff and I googled like what you really need to do when you're going to be on a trip for a while what needs to be done before you leave and of course you know, cleaning, laundry, and all that is, and dishes are never ending. So, you know, I have to keep up with that before I leave. I have to run the dishwasher at least every two or three days because um, that piles up pretty fast in my sink. And I don't like dirty dishes in my sink. I really don't. Um, so, yeah. So that's the plan. And, yeah, sorry if I've been on a little hiatus. I mean, it's only been a, a few days since I've posted, I know. But, um when I don't, like, upload for a few days, I feel like I've been on a staycation. For... I've been trying to cut back on social media now. You know, it causes me a lot of just, I don't know. It, it actually, I've gone, there's been a couple of days when I have not watched YouTube at all. And, of course, I can go without, like, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok for days at a time, even a week. And I'll be fine. But it's like with YouTube, I've been watching videos consistently and uh, for every day since 2020 since COVID because I was pretty much dependent on social media then um so it's just it's like habit you know it's just you wake up like I wake up and have my coffee it's the same thing with the YouTube basically not all the other ones but um YouTube and um so it's like it just gives me a headache if I spend too much time on it and then I don't get anything done that I need to do and I can put it down like when I have when I really have to focus and do something, but if I'm on it, like if I have my phone going, <laughs> like I've just been turning off my phone, you know, unless I'll, I'll I'll check messages and I'll call call people if I need to or text, but you know, other than that, I just I really need to kind of pull back on it, um, just basically so I can get things done because it's really a distraction but it's been a habit and it's really it's really is a lot harder and I never thought I'd I've given up all my vices and my bad habits other than coffee and or soda and um so it's like that's my that's the substitute is social media and that's just been a habit for a long time so you know uh here are people who do it and it's hard but they do it and I've made progress on going for like 24 to 48 hours without it i know that might not seem like a lot but it's you know slow progress is still progress like i've always said and um so i'm gonna tie this segment in with my laundry i don't know about cooking i i have some chicken drumsticks and then i have some pasta and pasta sauce and i've just been eating basic stuff i mean warming or cooking stuff in the oven and just doing that for the last week this past week and i've been fine with that um it's better than just throwing meat or something on a, on a couple pieces of bread i mean i get sick of that so it feels really good to do this video just because i've kind of been away from it for a while so anyway i'll get to the chores and the cleaning part of this video uh, real soon here and i will see you guys all real soon uh thanks for hanging in there with me it's been rough i've just been having a lot of um kind of anxiety and just not about the trip i'm really excited i'm not even like having anxiety about flying it's not that i'm really excited about it 
And it's like before I used to just worry for weeks at a time. Oh, is, is it going to be a bad flight? Is it going to be rough? Is there going to be a lot of turbulence? And it's like, no. I mean, there might be some, but it's not like really stressing me out or anything, worrying about it, because I really want to go on this trip and it's going to be fun. So, um, I'll get to the, I keep saying that. I can't stop talking because it's been quite a few days since I've posted so or done a video. All right, guys, uh, I'll be back very momentarily with some laundry and other things. Okay, everybody, as promised, here is some laundry. I'm putting this. And I got all this. Uh, darks mostly. Mostly darks here. So that's going to be next. It's not too bad right now, but it will get worse. <laughs> of course, it always does. Oh. oh okay, I see. Uh, I think I think that might be it. So these I need to wash, or I'm sorry, dry on a lower heat cycle so they don't shrink and I need to get a dryer sheet here I'll get into the thing about the fabric softener another time it uh, has to do with my skin and I uh, visited the dermatologist uh, was it last month I think so alright Here, let me see. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna probably have to put the phone. Down. I have a, I have a few things in this basket. They don't need to go on the trip because they're more like, well, these pajama bottoms are wintry, very wintry. So I bought them last for last Christmas. Um, so this is a, this is a towel. I'm not gonna need scarves. I'll need the towels before I leave. Maybe some. Let's see. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna need a winter hat. Yeah, I probably, they say you should vacuum now. This vacuum, I think, I think I want to replace it. I really wish I had the funds to get a robot vacuum, but it's probably going to have to wait. Um, or maybe I'll just get a new vac, regular vacuum. I don't know. I have plenty to fold. Plenty to fold. I have, I don't know what, oh, look at, and all my organization stuff uh, is over there on the floor. But this is some piles. Oh, and there's even some piles on top of my dresser. And not like it was before because I bought all these laundry baskets and stuff. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So that's it for now. Uh, I'll get back. Oh, and there's like sheets and stuff that I need to just throw over my mattress. All right, everybody. I'll be back later. All right. So... I did the dark, some of the darks, most of them that I need to do before the trip. A lot of it's just like scarves and mittens and winter socks, which I won't need. So, I know, this is a disaster. Uh, so I put this on, right, this, this, uh, load, load size. And, right, so the darks are in. And, yeah, I got lots of folding to do. Lots of folding. You can see. <laughs> Alright, I, sh I should be ashamed to show you my disaster of... My laundry disaster, anyway. Uh, sometimes I have to use the spray and wash if I have... Uh, some, like, coffee stains or whatever on certain clothes. And usually lighter clothes. If it, like, shows up, I have to treat it with this spray and wash um so yeah <sighs> i wish i could say i'm gonna chill for a while oh <laughs> it's like the socking and long oh jeez now it went back in the so anyway that's it for now and i will uh see what else I oh i have to do dishes 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 i have to load some into my dishwasher. Well, I'll have to unload. There's not much that I need to unload the dishwasher. I'm going to have to pick up some new dish towels, dish rags, dish cloths, whatever, before I leave. And that's about it as far as that goes. 
I'm going to have to get a long handled dustpan. I made a list and it's not too long as far as the household things, items I need to replace and stuff before I leave. So that's not too long of a list, fortunately. And yeah, I can't think of anything else for now that I need. Yeah, look at this. I don't know if I just filmed this, but this is winter stuff that is definitely not going on the trip. I don't know if I'm going to leave these decorations. I haven't decorated in a long time. I don't decorate for 4th of July. I don't do any real decorating in the summer. The rest of the seasons of the year I do. But uh, now there's that art. I never wanted to th get rid of that, throw that out, but that was something I think I did. Maybe even before COVID. I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, I'll be back uh, later, maybe with part two. But the part two is definitely not going to get uploaded until tomorrow. Let me see what this is up here. Oh, this is a pillowcase. Oh, these are pillowcases and one of those cheap, like, mesh garment bags. There's more pillowcases. Those can probably go in a drawer. Those are my <laughs> stuff. Gnomes. I think they're from Valentine's Day or something. Uh, watering paint or plastic watering thing light bulbs and things okay well the laundry room isn't as overwhelming as the rest so um anyway see you later guys see you in part two that'll be tomorrow